Stevensville, Maryland. What's up, boy? We talking real estate investing today. I'm going to talk to you guys about a cash flow uh, asset, right? A duplex. Let's jump into it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am your advocate in the real estate space. Base, okay? I work with you one on one. I work with investors from all over the globe to help them achieve their goals in real estate. Now, today's client is Terry from guess where? Yeah, obviously Stevensville, Maryland. That's that's why I said that at the beginning of the show. Uh, duh! Right? Working with my dude Terry. Terry, you're from Stevensville. And as I understand it, uh, the market in Stevensville, it's kind of expensive, but I don't really know too, too much about Stevensville. I am by no means uh, an expert in Stevensville, Maryland specifically, right? I am an expert in rental property real estate, okay? Rental property real estate. I just jammed a bunch of keywords in there like I'm typing some copy on a YouTube video. I am a, re I am a rental property expert, okay? I know real estate, all right? That's what I do. I've sold $200 million worth of investment properties to people like you, Terry. Everyday people. I help you guys accomplish those goals. Now, the things I talk about on this show can be applied where you live in any market, perhaps Stevensville, Maryland. But Terry isn't investing in Stevensville, Maryland. No, because Terry wants to go one step further. Instead of getting just the knowledge, he also wants to partner with my team. And we happen to have a massive operation in Northeast Ohio. That's where we sold those $200 million worth of real estate. We run the largest property management portfolio of its type in that area. So people like Terry can invest and we will do all the dirty work. If that sounds like something you like, if you're out there in Stevensville and you're like, yeah, I could totally invest some money, but I don't want to buy a bad property. I don't want to deal with tenants. I don't want to deal with toilets. I don't want to deal with trouble. Click the link below to book a free call at my team and you'll get the same service I'm about to give Terry because I'm about to go over an investment property that meets your specific criteria, Terry. One of your criteria is you need the home to be built after the 50s. In the particular market we're uh, working in today, this market does not have a lot of inventory before 1950. A lot of the real estate out there is built in like the 1920s. Uh, but that's okay, dog. I work for you. I combed through the market and I found you something. I got you a duplex built in 76. So let's dive into the numbers, how everything on that asset is going to work. Every dollar that comes in, every dollar that goes out, breaking it all down for you right now. Welcome back. This, this is what you pay for, right? This is the part of the show where I earn my keep, okay? I got to present to you the numbers, the numero unos, all right? I like this house. This is B, B, B grade stuff, okay? Now, we're in the Cleveland market, right? This is a suburb called Elyria. It's about 30 minutes west of Cleveland, okay? This is a solid 1976 B-grade duplex, right? You guys, you read the ultimate guide to grading, grading Cleveland neighborhoods that I wrote, right? If you never heard of that, it's in the show notes below. Click it when you're done with the video. But not now! Don't screw up my watch time on the algorithm. I will get pissed! But when you're done, when you're done, right, check that out, and you'll see I graded everything on an A to F scale. 
This is a B. This is what a B-class neighborhood is going to look like, folks. A lot of owner-occupants are driving up pricing in these neighborhoods. You're going to get very, very stable tenants. As you can see, this is the vacant unit I'm cruising through. It's dated, but that's okay because we're going to fix it. That's where the bottom unit is, right? We're going to fix up the unit. My team will handle all the on-the-ground work. Man, look at this driveway. That's huge. That backyard right up to the woods there. That's very nice, right? Now, we're going to handle the renovations, right? We're going to make this house up to date, right? We're not going to get top dollar in rent with our kitchen looking like this, dude. Where is it? It came right out of the 70s. we got to upgrade this a little bit. But we don't have to redo the cabinets, though. We're just going to repaint them, and we're going to slap a new countertop on there, bring it up into the 21st century or 22nd century or wherever the hell we are. It's probably the same century. Maybe it's not because it's 2022 and this was 76, so that was technically a century. Moral of the story, we can't have it looking like your grandma's house because people ain't going to pay top dollar rent. But my team, we handle all that, so you don't have to live locally. We take care of that, right? So simple, right? About 15 Gs. We're going to put about 15 Gs into this. And as you see there, I got a purchase price of 160 k That's what I think you're going to need to pay for this, right? As you see here, they got it listed at 179 9 My job as your advocate is to fight for you and get you that $20,000 discount. So I believe I can do so, right? Sold $200 million worth of the stuff. I know how to negotiate a real estate deal, folks. I believe I can put this together for you for 160 put 15k in reno to get that unit up to snuff right we're going to redo that kitchen okay we're going to use some extra money a little paint a little bit of this a little bit of that you will get a full line by line construction bid from holton weiss contracting when the time is appropriate more information on when that will be is in the fact on holtonweiss.com right so an all-in investment of 175 what are you going to get with that well the unit I just talked about fixing up, we're going to rent that bad boy for 900 a month. Now, the basement unit is currently marketed, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, not marketed, below market rented. It's rented, but below market rate is what I'm trying to say, stumbling over my words. Those current tenants are paying six and a quarter. Eventually, we'll want to work them up because if they're going to live in this nice of a neighborhood, they should really be paying 800 Now, if you're wondering, same amount of bedrooms, why is the upstairs paying $100 more? Because it's the freaking upstairs. That's why. Of course you're going to pay more. It's a bigger unit. It's above ground. The other one's a garden unit. Garden is a fancy real estate term for saying it's in the fucking basement. Obviously, they're going to pay less. But 800 is still quite a bit for this market, right? So 17 hundo, 20400 for the year. If you're new to real estate, uh, you may not know this, but you don't get to keep all that twenty k, right? That's not practical. This chart, that shows you what's practical, right? These are the fixed and variable expense estimates that come along with being a real estate investor, right? If you're in a nice neighborhood like this, yeah, you don't really deal with a lot of evictions, but we got a plan for it because no investment will ever run perfectly forever. Same thing with taxes, CapEx, insurance, water, sewer, the whole shebang. It's all right there. As you can see, I believe your pure profit will be about 9 Gs a year. With your $175,000 investment, remember, that's me fighting for you as your advocate to so you get this $179 down to $160. Then my team handling that entire renovation for you, all in $175. You put down $65. That's going to represent forty grand as a down payment, fifteen grand for the reno. The bank will kick in the rest. 30-year note, 120K mortgage. Should all pencil out to a 5% cash-on-cash cash return. That cash-on-cash cash return does not account for your actual uh, internal rate of return when you sell it down the road, which is going to also factor in things like principal pay down and appreciation because a very, very nice neighborhood like this, okay, what happens to real estate over time if it's nice? It goes up, right? That's like kind of how the whole freaking shebang works. Now, truth be told, though, Cleveland itself is not historically a cash flow uh, well, I should say it's historically a cash flow market. People come here for the cash flow. They don't historically come here for the appreciation. However, nice little area like this should still see some appreciation, and then you get that nice little cash flow, and you're going to own the property 
and have a very, very easy ownership experience, right? Do we have properties in the Cleveland market that are much cheaper than this? Absolutely. We can do like $1,500 a month for $100,000 duplexes. But you have to understand, you're going down in asset class, and now you're not getting 1976 properties that look like that. You're getting properties built in like the 20s. We can do that. We do that with a lot of stuff. Most of my personal portfolio is a lot of that lower income Section 8 type stuff. But what I think the biggest thing a lot of you need to think about is diversification, folks. If you're going to have a large portfolio, you shouldn't have all your eggs in one basket, right? You want to take some of your higher risk stuff and balance it out with super low, li uh, low risk plays like this. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.